Hey YouTube, Corpersan here. In this video, we're checking out the close to final, if not final balance changes that were applied to the Explorer Arches after they got their remaster in the test server. Both Marksman and Bowmaster got some nice buffs and albeit minor adjustments. The Pathfinder class was out looking for pets. By the time the remastered happened, he wasn't home too bad, missed out on it. But there were some small changes made to this class as well. Whenever Pathfinders completely fill their Relic Gauge, the skill Guidance of the Ancients activates and increases final damage by 15%. In the new test server, this buff, the 15% final damage, was decreased to 5. What nerfs again? But the skill now passively increases final damage by 10%, so actually that's a pretty nice boost. Their Ancient Astra Hyper Skill Attack has had its cooldown reduced from 80 seconds to 60 seconds, and the damage numbers have been lowered to match the reduced cooldown. The same thing happened to their 5th Job Barrier skill, which now lasts 5 seconds shorter but had its cooldown decrease from 200 seconds to 120 seconds. So there are some nice changes but no big remaster for the Pathfinder. And then there are the Marksman and Bowmaster. There are some general changes for all Archer classes. Like everyone else, the Archers now also have 100% stance and the common Archer 5th job skill Guided Arrow was changed into a toggle skill. With the remaster, both Marksman and Bowmaster gained a new skill in exchange for Bowmaster their arm and leg and Marksman's entire body. Oh wait, that's the wrong anime. Both classes lose their hookshot and nettle skill in exchange for a teleportation skill. It's a new skill you can place down and then you can teleport back to that location. And also they got a new skill that hovers them in the air for a few seconds while attacking. Their teleport skill was improved over the recent weeks. Once placed down its location can be changed if you press the skill again plus the down key. That actually is a pretty nice improvement. In case the previous place you selected now is getting all the attention from a boss monster you can just change it to a different location so that's pretty good. For those of you who missed the previous Bowmaster video, Bowmasters now have a nice passive skill called Flash Mirage that activates every few attacks. This skill could be compared to Assassin's Mark which does the same thing. After a few attacks Mirages pop out that shoot arrows at monsters, greatly improving your mobbing. After the recent balance updates, the amount of attacks that was required to activate said Flash Mirage was lowered from 15 to 12, and after you learned the Flash Mirage upgrade in your 4 job advancement, the number of attacks needed to activate this skill was changed from 10 to 7. So this alone is a pretty good boost to Bowmasters mobbing. Bowmasters did lose their third job Flame Surge mobbing skill and instead have to use their second job skill Arrow of Wind to attack monsters beside the third that they get in third job. Earlier this skill did not get any better, so grinding to 4 job actually felt pretty bad. But thankfully now the Flash Mirage third job skill also boosts the range and damage of the second job skill by about 70%. This will help both masters who are starting out to level up quite a bit faster. There also were improvements to the Arrow Blaster. When installed, the skill will now always start in the lowest position and their four job Hurricane skill now starts shooting arrows faster and has had its action delay reduced. New remastered Bowmasters also only have to use two set of arrows. Magic arrows that fly out and seek enemies and red arrows that heal. Their poison arrows have been removed and the bonus critical damage this skill gave was added as a passive boost in Bow Expert. This skill now increases critical damage by 16% and that's a lot of damage. And besides all of that, those 5th job flame arrows from your skilled Quiver Barrage now do a better job at seeking their targets if the target moves or teleports away. But that's it for the Bowmaster. So some nice buffs to their mobbing and more convenience but no major changes like some of the other classes like the Bakar Hero got. Marksman also got a few minor buffs and other improvements. The first one that I noticed and liked the most was that their enhanced attack no longer darkens the screen for a few frames which was really annoying to look at. Marksman's lost their range mechanic with the remaster and instead got their piercing arrow skill and second job. This skill now gets enhanced in the third and fourth job and there's not a passive added to it at every four attacks a larger stronger version of the attack is shot. The skill itself is still incredibly straight though. The 4 job buff for Piercing Arrow was improved over the last few weeks as an additional shot that you shoot out. The damage was increased from 335% to 427%. It's a pretty random number, but a pretty nice increase overall. And the enhanced version of Snipe was improved as well. Snipe has the same mechanic, every few shots, boom, you shoot out a bigger one. And the damage for the bigger one went up from 105% to 250% and the amount of hits from 3 to 5. Snipe now also hits monsters closer to your character because that animation is pretty big right now. The fit of skill split shot now also lasts for 72 seconds instead of 60 which is pretty darn amazing. Grinding gets a lot better when that skill is active. I think those changes are pretty good and bring up both the Marksman and Archers to today's standards. But some of the quirks these classes had are still there. What do you think of the remastered Archer classes? Let me know in the comments. Tomorrow we will check out the Pirate classes one final time. So stay tuned for that video. And that was all for today. As always many thanks to our members for making this video possible. Thanks to Niels de Comic, Rama Waar, Sebastian Hanoi, FLX, Riley Oss, Terry Kim, Varese, 
Kaori Mora, Wiley, Francisco Sousa, History Cannon, Backspace, OTI, Safron X, Alonzo, BG Extremes, Andra NHI, Frank Bouguet, Ziggy Deer, Fridiot, BeamerWT, Knife Suit, Chen125, Clownfix, Gusus Rodriguez, Froggy11, Surtito655, Glazen, Brandon Cam, Vyra, Trevor, Michael Machaka, Ratius, Lucky Beats, Justin Vale, Silvio Nato, Stevie Zang, Afterlord underscore MS, Heyo Pan, Simak, Striker Elk, NokMSS, Niu, Tidal Pan, Victor Sundstrom, Radicals the Alien, Stanislaus Kusumo Begus, Riser RU, Eddie Reacts to Things, Dular, Gummy Bullet, Mr. Anark, Lovebird, Rev Soli, Yuski TV, Yo Mama, Matthias Simonson, Caveman, oh yeah. Galando Balavia, I'm disappointed. My name is Copper Sen and I'm super cute XOXO. Clap for the moment, PC Game Life, Max Bernhardt, and Cakeshot. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and happy mapling.